in my house from you know a Jets family, but uh, probably probably last year, I think it was week ten when the Seattle really put the put the whipping on the Jets. But I started noticing just how great Russell is. Wilson play fake, throwing downfield, got a man out there, Sidney Rice. Wow, what a perfect pass from Russell Wilson. He's my height. Inspires the dream that it's possible for somebody this height to play in the NFL. So, suddenly thought maybe he should appropriate the song. It's one of the songs that you could go to a fish show, and even if you've never seen the band, you instantly are part of that song and you know what to do. You and have it, to hear two notes and you are in it, you are ready. Everybody goes crazy. Wilson! It gets loud, dun 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 The song comes from this, like my, my senior thesis was, was a, to write a musical. Iculus had given the Helping Friendly book to the lizards thousands of years earlier as a gift. It was actually called The Man Who Stepped Into Yesterday, but people call it Game Henge. Oh, I mean game henge. Wilson comes from that. Wilson, Wilson's the king, and they're all trying to overthrow him. He's the scary guy in the story. I guess he's, uh, he's, uh, you know, uh, I'm not talking about this. <laughs> you try to get, I don't want to don't talk about game match on the NFL. You got to understand, at the time, nobody was listening. Really. No one was ever supposed to hear it. We were, we were banned, maybe, but we were like a band in our, in our room. <laughs> no, I imagine. We were banned. We were banned in our, our, we our, our own minds. Yeah. <laughs> what is it I love about fish? Different sets, different songs every night, you know. I'm not really into going and seeing bands that like play their album every night. We don't use song lists or anything. We just walk on stage and we play. We make it up. It's all, you know. Audibles. Audibles, no, all no huddle. The hardest part is trying to explain that it's really not the same thing ever. Wilson, here comes the pitch. He looks like he wants to throw. It's like going to a bunch of football games in a row. They're never going to be the same. Wow, the Seahawks are pulling out all the stuff. We've each seen over 75 shows, and we have never seen the same show. Everybody comes up with this stuff when they're hanging out with their buddies, but we actually do it. It's kind of like the theme to the Fish TV show. You know, with Abe Vigoda. So, you know, one night we were out, you know, hanging out one night. We're like, we should play the whole White Album. And then the next day we were playing the whole White Album. You know, it's like, oh, let's call Abe Vigoda. You know? <laughs> and then... Abe Vigoda, ladies and gentlemen. 92 years old. And he can dance like that. And he dances his ass off in a wombat suit. We didn't ask anybody to just start doing that chant. It really was one of the many, many, many spontaneous things that the fish audience, just they just started, started doing, doing it. There's a song we have called Stash, where there used to be this little woodblock part that I would play. But the crowd has taken it over and got, just dot, dot, dot. And they do yeah. this little clapping thing, so we've just left a hole there. And they, they sort of taken that part. And then it just always continued. I don't remember the specific moment when the Wilson chant started, but it was pretty early. I remember playing at the Garden, one of the first times we played there. I think it was 94. The coolest thing ever. Just you walk on a stage, just the littlest thing. Doo -doo, doo -doo. And it was just like deafening. It surprised us. When it happened, I was in tears. That's what, you know, the fish and Seahawks similarity is. It's the 12th man. It's getting the, the crowd intertwined with the band. It's kind of the same way of, you know, here we're getting intertwined with, with the game and with Russell Wilson. You know, and so the same thing, we're in Seattle and I'm playing 
Like, oh my God, I should play, I should play Wilson and, you know, dedicate it to Russell Wilson because I love that guy. This is how you have to help me out. I wanted to do this all last football season, but I don't really know how we're going to pull this off. We, we I say, because we're going to do this together. But by next season, every time Russell Wilson walks on the field, I was really surprised. It was like, I mean, Fish is from Vermont. I'm from the East Coast. I'm used to them talking about East Coast things. I had no idea they would start talking about the Seahawks. So it was awesome to see. And you know I'm going this. Like many of the things in our existence as a band, I would say that, like it's born out of a sense of humor. The ideas snowball. They take on lives of their own, which this clearly has. I've been seeing fish since 89, and I've also been a season ticket holder for 15 years. So it was like my two worlds, my, like my two most favorite things collide, and it was just like right on, you know? Right before the gourd shows, I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to go find a, a good shirt that I can put it on. And I made two, one for him and one for me. Couldn't really get up close because I'm not into the crowd, so I gave it to my wife who worked her way up to the rail. and held up the shirt and waited for Trey to you know, see her and see the shirt and ask for it. And when he asked for it, she just tossed it up on stage. I was like, oh, I think that's it. I think he's got it. Not only did he pick up the shirt and put it on, but he wore it the whole show. Like, we know what's coming. This is going to be so much fun. He played nearly the entire song and yeah. then just stopped. We are absolutely sure that this song is going to be the, in the loudest stadium in the world next season. Come on, guys. It's got to happen. It's got to happen when he walks up the field. We expect the Wilson chant. Come on. Make it happen. Blah! started getting emails saying, hey, have you guys seen this latest video uh, of Fish? And they uh, had a request to the fans about incorporating the song Wilson here at our actual stadium at CenturyLink. And uh, they sent us a bunch of notes. Uh, I'm talking a number of fans did. And we started to say, what's going on here? When we return. You mentioned the noise tonight. I just want to get your thoughts on the Wilson chant. It's kind of like Groundhog Day down here every day. It's the same thing, right? We're selling fish. We very easily can make this miserable, you know? And we just allow ourselves to let loose, have fun with the customers. There's 11 million people that come through the fish market every year. And so I'm used to being around lots of big groups. And we're a pretty loud group, too. But the atmosphere at CenturyLink is, is beyond anything I've ever experienced, man. It's, it's ridiculous. It's exactly the same feeling you get when you're at a game versus being at a concert, man. You feel it in your gut. It's like it's like hearing Mike's bass tone. It's that same kind of thing dropping where you just yeah, it's dropping bombs in a stadium. Without the fan base screaming at the top of their lungs, it'd be meaningless. Uh, and really, they're the ones who drive us in everything we do. But they're so into it. They're not the type of fans that have in the past followed direction on what to cheer and how to chant. So we weren't sure whether we could prompt them in the way that Next Trey season. brought up. We expect the Wilson chant. Come on, make it happen. No, we are not fish fans, but we have a couple of friends who sent us this clip. We thought it was pretty cool. And the very first game we came to, we heard the trope, the low E, and we were like, this is it! And so we sang along. talking and they wouldn't pay attention. And then they don't catch the beat, so they're like, Wilson! And 
it's like, no, 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 no. no. Wilson! What we've decided is, is that the best time to get it going would be the first appearance by Russell Wilson in the game. We see where Russell Wilson's located on the sideline. We get a live shot of him, and then we bring up the chant. They see the visual with the graphic Wilson, and the fans know when they hear that and see that, it's their moment to really belt it out. And I think it's interesting to see the, the, the crossover, because we have friends who are really big fish fans who are now Seahawks fans, and Seahawks fans who are like, what's this fish thing? Ever since I said that in Seattle, there have been a lot of people in the audience wearing Russell Wilson shirts. And usually when we do the song now, like we'll go Bobo, Bobo, and a bunch of people will go, Russell Wilson. There's a reason why people are getting behind it, and it's because he's great and he's the future of the Seahawks. If Fish had a song called Tebow, this would not be happening. There may have been a million people named Wilson in our crowd might have started this whole thing, but I mean, it does seem to have all naturally glommed around. The song's been going for 30 years, and yeah. there's never been anybody yet. Worthy. Worthy of the song, <laughs> that, in, our oh, opinion, that in our opinion. <laughs> His play's worthy of it. Here we go, let's go! I wish they'd do it more. I wish they'd do it louder. I think it's pretty, pretty cool that they understand how it goes, and uh, it's a nice little tradition they're starting in the stadium. We love our fans, love being here in Century Link. And hopefully, you know, we gotta feed them too. They'll when he sees things. something where he feels like we can get an advantage and that Russell will get the adrenaline pumping even more if he hears the fans support him, then he'll actually tell an assistant to call us saying, hey, coach was wondering if you could get that Russell chant going again in the second half. And we'll do it, of course. favorite band in the world. Hopefully we'll get some awesome Wilson chants going today, so it's huge. Nobody thought that a senior thesis game hedge would go to this level, ever. You never expect any of these things to fly, but this is, this is, gone, this is gone all the way. I don't like Russell Wilson. I like the song, but I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to not yell out Wilson when I hear those guitar chords. I might be a Seahawk fan for those couple seconds, Shane Wilson, and after that, back on the Saints. Seahawks ball, and here comes Russell Wilson, their quarterback. The rock group Fish has a song called Wilson that uh, they have played for many years. They got that bass boom, boom, and then at the concerts, they yell Wilson. So the lead singer played here and asked them, hey, do that when your guy comes out, and they started doing that. The interesting thing about Seattle is they're very proud of our background with grunge, very proud of the background with Jimi Hendrix, who uh, was born and raised here in Seattle. And Fish kind of fits right in with that lineage uh, of rock and roll. And so bringing Fish into our stadium just fits right in with everything else. I just want to get your thoughts on the Wilson chant. The thing is, our fans are unbelievable. It's just the energy that they bring. They're the best fans in the National Football League. The Guinness World Record folks do tell us, John, that a world record was set tonight <laughs> with the decibels at 137.6. When we come out for the first, you know, possession of the game, they chant Wilson. Uh, you know, so that's kind of cool. Done. 
we're very fortunate, and they should keep coming out and keep chanting his name. It's great. Russell, you got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. In my football fantasy, you use it, you know, when the other team is like going to the line of scrimmage and it's a big play, it's like third and long. And right then, the, you know, the, the organ guy could just go to do, to do, and all go, Pass. I would use it as a weapon. It was my, it was my team. 12th and a half. That's the 13th man. <laughs> yeah, that's the 13th. Except they can't use it against the Jets.